YouTube, what's good with y'all? Um, I know it's been a minute since I recorded a long form video. Uh, once again, I fell victim to overthinking and getting caught up in my own head. Just, you know, just thinking my samples weren't good enough to post on socials and stuff like that. But I'm really trying to get past that, really trying to work on that. Today, we're going to be breaking down an Eastern sample, specifically an Asian country, or not Asian country in specific, but just Asia in general. Yeah, I made an Eastern Asian sample. I'm just going to be breaking down where I got the inspiration from and just breaking down the different layers of the sample and stuff like that. And yeah, let's get into the video. So with this sample, I took inspiration from a few different places. One of the places that I took inspiration from was YouTube, as y'all can see. I basically just searched up Asian tea shop music and I was just scrolling through and just listening to the different videos and stuff like that. A lot of them were like beats, but that's fine. I was mainly paying attention to the melodic elements of the beat anyway. I think the main one, I went to like this one right here and I just kept listening to the first one over and over and over again. This is what it sounds like. So yeah, that's one of the places, I don't know if you heard that little drum or I don't know what you call it, walk down. That, -da 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 -da, that instrument is called a guzang. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's an Asian instrument. I basically was trying to make something like shakunachi or shinhai. I was trying to use instruments like that to create this sample. But anyway, I took inspiration from that. And I also took inspiration from, from Kingsway. I don't know if y'all know who Kingsway is, but they're a group. If y'all are familiar with sample making, they're a group. I just recently found out about them. They're a group that makes samples and stuff like that and i remember it was a video i was watching and one of the members was talking about they like to use images to draw inspiration so i also did that i basically went and typed like asian asian fields or something like that yeah i think i typed in asian fields and i kept looking at this picture right here trying to think of you know how i could visualize this image as audio for myself and for other listeners and then the last place i took inspiration from was mac shooter 49 basically i went to one of his kits i believe it's sound source 4 and he had this phrase in it Right, so it kind of gives that you know asian tea shop kind of vibe i feel like at least but yeah that's where i drew all of my inspiration from so now we're going to get into the breakdown of the sample that i made all right so for the first layer i just basically combined two pads one of them was from one of keon's kits uh, i can't remember which one but i think it's essential cyril i think it's that kit and then the second pad is from analog lab and it's from a cadet bank so i named cadet and basically i just took this pattern right here i just took this pattern and and duplicated it over and this is what it sounds like So for the effects for those pads, um, I basically had this effect chain that I made. I wanted it to take up some space, but not to be too upfront. So that's why I have EQs cutting out some of those high mids and coming cutting out some of those lows and highs. Portal was just to add some background textures. The delay, same thing. Um, also, it, it kind of gives it like a filtered effect because you see I have the cutoff turned down. This is a preset that I used. Um, and then the reverb, obviously, acts as reverb, just giving it some more texture and some more ambience and then pancake i have it just panning uh left and right so after listening to the instrumentation of the asian tea shop video that i showed y'all before i was paying attention to it and i was really trying to make note of what instruments they were using um and i noticed like some of them had harps in them the guzang like i said the strings and the flute those were like the main instruments that i noticed along with some percussion so i decided to use this harp right here um it's from Band, and then I have this pretty simple pattern playing, nothing too crazy. Mm -hmm. 
after I had a, added that harp, I then added a bell from another one of Keon's kits. Uh, just playing these simple, repetitive, like percussive type pattern. This is what it sounds like. It's basically just following the chord progression. And then after that, I decided to add some percussion. I added this bongo, I think it's a bongo, or a tambourine. Uh, this is what it sounds like. And this is why I really like Expand because different banks in Expand have different articulations for each note. So you see like this tambourine sounds different than this tambourine. Right, this one is more up front and stuff like that. But after that, I added the bongos. Yeah, then I added the bongos. This is what it sounds like. And then right after the bongos, I believe this is a taiko drum. This is, I believe it's an Asian instrument and I heard it in a lot of the samples and melodies. So decided to add this right here. And then in terms of percussion, I think the last thing I added was some wind chimes just to add some more texture, some more, you know, movement and percussion to the sample. And this is what it sounds like. Right, so just add in the minor details just to make more things stand out and um, really make it a sample. After the percussion, I added this flute phrase. It's from this website called archive.org. It has a whole bunch of old school kind of vintage kind of sounds. And this is what it sounds like. And then right after I added that flute phrase, I added some more percussion, this gong, which is also another Asian instrument. This is what it sounds like. Right, I know I know that sound sounds familiar to y'all. That's kinda like, you know, in those uh in those like kung fu movies and stuff like that where a fight is getting ready to happen, they hit one of those gongs. So I added that. And then right after that, the last thing I added for the first section was this bass pattern. Pretty pretty simple. I kept the pads from the first section. The only difference that I added was the string and then the guzang. And, and then I think I took like a couple of things out of the percussion. But other than that, um, I didn't really do too much in the second section. So for the strings, this is what it sounds like. And then the last thing I added for the uh, second section was the guzang. Um, it's a pretty simple pattern right here. This is what it sounds like. So adding that guzang, I really solidified the Eastern Asian, you know, kind of vibe that I was going for. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole sample. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know if y'all learned anything from it. If not, hopefully I can teach you something next time. I'm learning with y'all. I'm trying to get better um, week by week, day by day. So yeah, I appreciate y'all tuning in and stuff like that. I'm gonna go ahead and play the final sample for y'all. I'll catch y'all in the next video.